everyone. Today we're going to talk a little bit about smart boards and how to use them. So when we're talking about smart boards, there are four main parts that you need to be worried about. The smart board itself, the speakers, the projector, and the pen tray. And these four components are going to work together to help you to create a more effective lesson or presentation. So to get started, you first need to plug in these three cords. The first one, when you plug it into your computer, that helps you to see. It connects to the projector and projects everything that is on your computer screen. So what is on your screen will be what shows up on the smart board. The next one over here is just your basic audio cord. That helps you to hear so that is going to plug into your computer and connect you to the speakers. And that's what a basic projector does. It lets you see things and it lets you hear things. But the great thing about smart boards, because they're interactive, it has this third cord, which is just a USB, that also allows you to touch. And that USB connects to your computer and helps it communicate with the board itself. And when you have it connected properly. There's a small button right over here on the board that will turn green. If it's not green, just unplug that USB and plug it back in for a minute um, and see if it does turn green, and it should. A few quick notes about the smart board. When you're using a smart board and you touch it with your finger, your finger is acting as the left mouse click. So if you need to open a document, or you want to move something, you can do that with your finger and that's just a left mouse click again. And there are two buttons located on the pen tray and those two buttons are going to allow you to right click. So if you need to right click on something, you would just press the button and you can see here they are right there. And when you press that right click button, the very next time you touch the screen, you will have your right click menu. It only does that for one time, so if you need to right click more than once, you're going to have to push the button again. So the next time I click, it's going to be a left. You also have an on screen keyboard that you can use, and that's the other button right over here. And when you do that, the keyboard is going to pop up on your screen and will allow you to type in anything that you would normally type in um, from your keyboard on your laptop. So you can use that in any way that you need to. With the smart boards, they are touch sensitive, but they also need to be calibrated to your computer. So sometimes when you plug your computer in, you're going to try to move things, but it's not going to be oriented correctly so that sometimes when you're touching things that are over here, you may actually be moving things that are over here. And we definitely, if you're touching here, you want this thing to move. So very easy to um, calibrate your board, and you may have to do it for every computer, depending on how closely they are calibrated. Um, go back to those two buttons on the pen tray, and you're going to hold them both down until a screen appears that has targets on it. And then you're going to take your pen and simply press in the center of each one of those targets. And it'll make a funny binging sound at you for each one. And once you have done that, it should be calibrated so that when you touch in one place, you're actually moving the thing that you're trying to move. So some smart board information that everybody needs to know. Um, smart boards will work with any laptop. You don't have to have the smart software to run the smart board. Um, it works just as a projector. So you plug in the projector cord and the USB and you turn it on with the remote and you should be good to go. Anything that is on your computer screen is going to be projected onto the smart board. So make sure that what is on your screen is what you want people to see. The pens in the pen tray, you can use them to write on any of your applications. So if you have a Microsoft Word document, it will write on a Microsoft Word document. It will write on a PowerPoint. It will write in Publisher. Um, so you can use that to highlight things or underline things, however you would like to. Um, you can also use smart boards to show videos. 
and you can pull those from the web. Again, it projects what's on your screen, so if you've got an internet site on your screen, it's going to show that same thing on the, the smart board. Um, and you can present your materials, you can play review games, There, there's no limit to what you can do with these. A couple of things maybe that you shouldn't do, that we don't recommend, make sure that you're not writing on the smart board with um, dry erase, magic, permanent markers, pencils, or crayons. The only thing that you should be using on the smart board are the pens that are in the pen tray. Um, the great thing about those pens, they don't have actual ink. It's just when you touch the pressure sensitive screen, it recognizes where that pen is. Um, so there's no ink. If you do have an accident and somebody writes on the, the screen with something other than the smart notebook or the smart pens, it's not the end of the world. All you're going to need to do, please don't erase it with an eraser, um, that just makes it worse, but all you need to do is take board cleaner, spray a tiny bit of it on a paper towel, and wipe it gently in that area. Um, don't spray the entire board, don't spray the board directly, but just a small amount on a paper towel. We definitely ask that you don't put anything sharp near the board. Uh, we don't want to pierce that screen and get into the electronics underneath. And don't tape anything to the smart board um, because of the gooey residue. We don't want that to be on our boards either. So that's, that's the basics of smart boards. Um, please let me know if you have any questions. And other than that, we really thank you for taking care of our technology and wanting to learn how it works.